So in this example, huh? Well, I'll go over 14 if you remember, remind me next class period, we'll go over number 14. So Brianna, in this example, if you guys remember when we we're doing divi dividing rational expressions, um, we, can't, we don't want to leave our rational expression with i in the denominator. So when there was just a monomial of i, we always just multiply by i in the numerator and denominator. But when we have a binomial of i, what we did, Brandon, was we, did, we multiplied by what we called the complex conjugates, which is going to be exactly the same, but instead of negative, it's going to be positive. So what we're going to do is going to want to multiply by 2 plus 2i. Two so you're going to want to multiply that in the numerator and in the denominator. Now, there's two ways you guys can do this, guys. You guys can do this as FOIL, um, or you could use like the box method. I like using the box method. Now, the reason why I like using the box method is because the terms is organized. So I'll do the top, the product in the top, as um, use the box method. But then I'll do the bottom as a different one a little bit quicker, because Gavin might need to sit over here as we finish this up. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative 4i is negative 8i. 3 times 2i is 6i. And 2i times negative 4i is negative 8i squared. Now, do you guys remember what i squared was? Negative, negative 1. So really, that's negative 8 times negative 1, which is really 8. OK? So we want to make sure that we have that um, 8 in there. And what's important about that is you look at 8 plus 6. These are like terms, all right? Those are both numbers. So really, that becomes 14. And then we have 6i and minus 8i is minus 2i. Yes, Colin. If i squared, would it, wouldn't it be 1 instead of negative 1? I will go over that later. But we talked about i was negative. I square, i squared is represented by negative 1. I'll show you a quick thing. I'm just not going to do it. I'll show you that in a second. Yep. Two times negative four i is negative eight i. Oh no, it's a negative eight. Um, then in the denominator, guys, I can go ahead and do the exact same thing, Erica, but as using the box method. But what's important about this is that the middle terms are going to cancel out. When you do two times two i, you get four i. When you do negative two times negative two i, you get negative four i. So you're going to have positive four i and negative four i, which are going to add to zero. So we really don't need to use the whole thing. All we simply need to do is multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and then negative 2i times 2i, which would be a negative 4i squared. But again, negative 4i squared, i squared is equal to negative 1, which is positive 4. So really, it's 14 minus 2i over 4 plus 4, which is 8. And then the last answer, guys, to make sure that when you have this, you always want to divide everything out. Um, we always write complex numbers as a plus bi. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each of these terms by 8. So I have 14 over 8 minus 2i over 8. Then I divide the top and bottom by 2. So my final answer is going to be 7 fourths minus i over 4. Wait, so where do you get 14 minus 2i? You got a negative, you got 6i, negative 6i over 7. 6 plus 8 is 14. 6i minus 8i is negative 2i. 14 minus 2i. Yeah, that's 6 plus 8 is 14. 6i and negative 8i is negative 2i. Hold on one second. Then I did the denominators. Combine them. Yes, Jack? Oh. You said negative 4i squared equals 4. OK, but then wouldn't that be just 4 minus 4? Wouldn't that be 0? Why is it 8? So it's 4 minus 
4i squared. 4 minus 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is, OK? I just didn't show it. I was just kind of doing all my work, OK? So that would be your final answer. I thought we were 